Changing routes and cutting stops for Macon buses. It's part of a plan to cut down Macon's high pedestrian death rate. Abicosaurus explains how the new plan is supposed to work. Cars fly down Riverside Drive, but there's also a bus stop in the middle of two faraway intersections. How you doing? Jermaine Wisby with Megan Transit Authority says he gave his input on changes he thought would help their riders. To make it safe, safer for a, a lot of people. Craig Ross, head of the Megan Transit Authority, says some of the changes include fewer stops along dangerous routes, including Riverside Drive and Pierce Avenue. He says other efforts include a new app to tell riders when the next bus will arrive, so they won't rush if they don't have to. Thanks to money from a downtown challenge grant, they've been able to install 11 of these light posts to help keep the area safe and well lit at night. It'll be here at 2 o'clock. As a supervisor, Wisby right, says he's more. getting lots of questions about route changes, but he's happy to see those changes take into account the people who need extra help. We try to make it more convenient for everybody, you know, to stay on one side of the road. We come up one side, pick up on the side and then come down the other side and pick up where you have to, you know, cross the street with wheelchairs or baby with scroll. Ross says ridership led to some of the route changes, but they're also putting more focus on keeping their riders safe before and after they take the bus. In Macon, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. Coroner Leon Jones reported 13 pedestrian deaths in Macon Bib last year. Ross says he sees their changes as a way to keep riders safe as they walk to and from the bus stop. Taking a closer look, this problem with pedestrian deaths is one Bibb County has been working to tackle for the past few years. Recently, the Pedestrian Safety Review Board passed out flashing wristbands for walkers to wear at night to help warn drivers. In 2017, the Cross the Walk campaign was introduced to stress the importance of using a crosswalk and understanding traffic laws. A mascot named Pedora the Pedestrian helped spread the message to children.